What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have another Love is Blind video. I love, love, love talking about the show. Guys, the great news about the show is that it has been renewed for a second season. Ah! Holla freaking booyah. They just announced it yesterday. The next season is set to air in 2021, but of course it is not in production right now because the whole world is at a standstill as we try to get through this coronavirus situation. MTV has um, halted production on every single one of their projects. So I kind of feel as though the 2021 release date is a little bit ambitious with that in mind. I don't know that anyone will really be able to get back to anything before June, July, maybe even August, you know? So like with that in mind, it's ambitious. So now um, for any of those of you who are new here, who are new to Love is Blind or anything like that, let's talk about what exactly the show is. So Love is Blind just premiered on Netflix this past month. It feels like we've been talking about this thing for like ages just because of how passionate we are. But the show just premiered last month on Netflix and um, it takes, um, I think, 15 men and women and then they go into pods um, anonymously like no face nothing like they uh, they only know the other person's name and just get to know each other and then they fall in love narrow down their matches until they come to one person who they want to uh, propose to typically it's the men that propose but Giannina did also uh, propose back to her fiance and um, then after that they meet each other for the first time they go on like this engagement honeymoon kind of thing engagement moon or whatever and then uh, live together in a production apartment and then from there they go to the wedding and at the altar they decide whether or not they're going to say I do so in season one we had quite a lot of surprises like I remember watching it with my heart beating like ah, because um, some people shocked me like spoiler alert if you have not finished watching season one you should stop watching this video right now going going gone I was like whoa when um kelly said no to kenny at the altar um you know there were a lot of those like twists and turns i always felt like jessica would say no to mark but the way that she came in hot in that um altar episode like i love him now i know for sure she was skipping down i was like okay like it's a little weird that she's not very like whatever about her hair like her hair kind of looked a mess um she didn't have a bouquet she didn't have like family like her dad walking her down the aisle nothing she was chewing gum i'm pretty sure but like just the way she was talking in her talking heads i was like maybe she's being a little unconventional but she's gonna say yes and then she shocked me by saying no so like overall like it's really 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 good viewing so um of course the world fell in love with the show instantly and they have been renewed for two more seasons. So this is what um, the vice president of uh, nonfiction and comedy specials at Netflix named Brandon Rigg had to say about the renewal. He said, and I quote, we pride ourselves on creating a favorite show for any taste and we're thrilled fans embrace all of these series with such enthusiasm and shared passion. We look forward to sparking more joy for our members. Season two will be filmed in Chicago, which is another really good um, city choice. Like it's a very metropolitan city full of diversity. And I look forward to that, uh, seeing that being reflected on the show. Um, the there were rumors that some of the cast members from season one would be returning for the show like Jessica for another shot at love but no like she does not live in Chicago none of them do so that is not happening and by the way although they're not taping for the next season just yet um, they are doing online casting so if you are from Chicago make sure to do that casting go ahead and see like what could happen for you and if you want shoot me an email keep me posted on your journey I would love to have some more behind the scenes tea for you as the next season rolls out so far the only cast members who have been confirmed for a return are Vanessa Lachey and obviously Nick Lachey a lot of the viewers of this show are quite disappointed with that because they felt as though Nick and Vanessa fell flat as hosts I kind of agree but at the same time this was the first season so let's give them a shot to kind of change things for season two I feel like the majority of that criticism comes from the fact that the show underutilized them like they appeared in the first episode I, I felt like they did a great job introducing but then they popped up again when they were doing their engagement moons or whatever and then kind of disappeared again until the reunion and uh, they failed at the reunion in my opinion they uh, neglected to ask a lot of very important questions they had diamond apologizing to carlton even though he was very uh, emotionally abusive psychologically abusive to her he was very misogynistic as well they tried to force amber to accept jessica's apology and you guys know i love jessica but 
Amber was well within her rights to not accept Jessica's apology because Jessica spent a long time running around behind her back trying to get her man to leave her for her. So I don't fault Amber for holding on to that. But Vanessa really wanted her to accept Jessica's uh, apology. And I felt like she was putting her on the spot and that was not too fair. Do you know what I was hoping for? And I thought that it would happen because this is created by the same production company that does Married at First Sight. I was hoping for Lauren and Cameron to be used as hosts for from here on out. You know how they've got like Jamie Otis kind of like running things in the Married at First Sight world. She's doing a lot of the hosting and stuff like that. She's even doing the reaction shows. I was hoping that that was going to happen for Lauren and Cameron and I'm kind of disappointed that it's not but I feel like M Netflix sorry, wants to get more mileage out of them so you might see them in the first episode like coming into the house to assure everyone like they will come as a couple or maybe split into each house or something and just be like no I think they'll come as a couple. They're gonna come as a couple to the girls house be like guys we did the process it's so good we fell in love love is blind then go to the boys house and do the same thing like that's what I'm kind of seeing happening uh, next season and I, and I do hope that that happens just to remind people about the possibilities that can kind of come from being on this show. I hope they have another really good cocktail of personalities. I felt like everyone on this show really brought something special and that's what made it so successful. We needed Giannina our telenovela queen talking about why don't you say Dose, man. Just like snapping at every possible turn. We needed da uh, Damien, Toby from The Office, his very interesting Eeyore personality. We needed Lauren and Cameron, our palate cleansers. I didn't love Carlton. Like, I, I don't like him at all. I shouldn't even say I didn't love him. I don't like Carlton at all. But again, he brought a lot of attention in his confrontation with Diamond. Who else was, we needed Jessica. I felt like Jessica had made the show. Amber was another really good personality. Like we needed every single person that we got. And so I'm quite happy and hoping that we will be able to get the same thing in season two. Although I have to backtrack and say that I didn't feel like Kelly and Kenny really brought much of anything to the show. I would have preferred the other live triangle that apparently went down. Remember Rory was engaged to some girl, then she left him for another one of the guys. That would have been a very interesting story to follow if you ask me. Anyway, you guys, those are my thoughts about season two of Love is Blind being casted right now. Very exciting that there will be a season three afterwards. I don't know if it's going to return back to Atlanta or stay in Chicago or go to another city but only time will tell in the meantime let's just wait and speculate about what's gonna go on if you're from Chicago let me know in the comment section down below if you're planning on auditioning for this series that's all for now thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time